Good morning, and thank you for being here with us on The Alabama Way. Listen, someone is not a stranger. Tricia, how are you? I'm doing well, thank you. Listen, uh, I know there's a lot going on in legislation, mm -hmm. and uh, I know you're going to be bringing some things to us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, I know some of the questions you probably don't have all the answers to right now. I might not, right. And uh, because we got the charter school, which is a big thing, big, and big. parents are asking why, what, when, where, and how, mm -hmm. and um, things. But, you know, first, Trisha, I want to ask you, you know, one of the things is, who makes the decision? How do we get in there and at, start these little legislation laws that we were in there arguing about starting? That is really fascinating. I used to wonder about that. Um, how do you get a bill, you know, how do you get your subject, the thing that you're passionate about, down into the legislature for them to even consider it. Right. And usually it's a vocal minority of people. It's people who ha are passionate about some uh, some something like a, um, a bull an anti-bullying bill or there's a bill about cyberbullying, something that really means a lot to them. And they reach out to their local legislator. We have 105 members of the House of Representatives, 35 members of the Senate. Okay, um, we just had elections recently. Um, they, every now and then we elect new people, right? Sometimes we keep the same folks. But you can find who your legislator is. If you have an idea for something that you think should be a law, reach out to your legislator and tell them, you know, I think we need a law here. Um, it's not usually that simple, but it starts the conversation. And then if your, you know, your legislator is usually going to have some idea of yeah, this might work, this might pass. Um, let's get it written up, let's talk to people about it, let's see uh, if this is something that other people believe that we need. Mm -hmm. um, oftentimes we'll see a bill get introduced one year, and when I say introduced, I mean uh, once a year there's a legislative session, right? Mm -hmm. um, that's called the regular session. Sometimes a special session will be called. We haven't had one of those in a while, but the regular session, it depends on what year it is. This year it started March 3rd, mm -hmm. okay? So uh, typically they will meet for no more than 30 calendar days, but typically the legislature meets two times a week, mm -hmm. sometimes three times a week, but they'll meet on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and that's when they'll vote on bills. That's when they'll debate the bills. Wednesdays are usually committee days. And a bill, I don't know if you remember that schoolhouse rock, mm -hmm. um, I'm just a yeah. bill. I love that because it's still, it's fairly accurate, you know. Mm -hmm. That's true. You start as a bill, you get introduced into committee, and then the committee decides, yes, we like this bill. Then it goes to the floor of whatever house it was introduced in. Bills can be introduced in the House, mm -hmm. and they can be introduced in the Senate, okay? But once one House, it gets introduced, it gets passed by the committee, the committee says, yes, House, let's consider this. House of Representatives votes on it, and they say, yes, this is, we like this. Sometimes they'll amend it, you know, put something else on it, maybe change a little something here or there. They'll vote it out mm -hmm. of their House send it over to the other chamber, mm -hmm. which in this case, in this example, would be the Senate. Mm -hmm. So then the Senate would send it to their committee, mm -hmm. okay? Their committee, if they like it, they'll vote it up. They'll send it back out to the full chamber of the Senate. Mm -hmm. The Senate will vote on it. And, I, and this, is, this is an abbreviated version, of mm -hmm. course, you Correct. know. Mm -hmm. Things don't usually happen this fast, but sometimes they do. Mm -hmm. Like the charter school bill, right. it moved pretty quickly, yes, right? Yes, it did. So then you have the Senate will vote on it, and if they vote yes, they send it to the governor, and it becomes law. And I, I just think that's a fascinating process. There's been some good debate this year, mm -hmm. which is, you know, that you can actually listen in mm -hmm. to the discussion. There are links wow. on their, on the state legislator uh, website, which we'll put the address here. Mm -hmm. It's called Allison, the Alabama Legislative Information System Online. Wow. And they redid some of it this year. Mm -hmm. um, some things are harder to find, some things are easier, but you can listen in to committee meetings, mm -hmm. and you can listen in to the House of Representatives um, debate things when they're on the floor, and the Senate even offers video. Wow. So during the charter school debate, I was watching the video. I couldn't go to Montgomery, but I could at least watch, and I right. could hear what they had to say. So it's a great way to listen, um, to, to see what are your elected folks doing? How well are they representing you and your interests, right?
So, and I'll say this, once a bill, a lot of times we're not in on that beginning of the bill, right? right, right. So let's say we find out that a bill has been introduced. How do you find out? Sometimes it's in the media. If there are education bills, of course, you can go to alabamaschoolconnection.org and find them. Right. So you have an opinion. What do you do? Pick up the phone and call your senator or your representative. They really want to hear from us. Right. They have said over and over, I've heard them uh, speak in various functions saying, we really want to hear from the folks back home. A lot of times there's special interest groups there in Montgomery. Um, but they really want to hear from us. They want to know what we're thinking. Mm -hmm. So I really encourage folks, if they have an opinion about a bill, um, the charter school bill is already passed. It's already law, okay? Mm -hmm. So the, the time for that debate has passed. But there are still other big things on the table. Um, they're looking. I know, that's what I was going to ask you. I know you're our, uh -huh. our kind of eyes and ears here. Mm -hmm. So can you kind of give us some little hints sure. of what may be going through yeah. the pipeline yeah. here? Yeah. Uh, right, um, when the legislature gets back from spring break, they will consider expanding the Alabama Accountability Act, okay. which is uh, it's a scholarship program, a tax credit program. To The idea was to allow children who are um, attending failing public schools, their definition of failing, uh, allow them to use scholarship money to attend a private school or mm -hmm. to transfer to a non-failing public school. So they're looking at expanding the reaches of that, expanding the amount of money, expanding the um, failing school definition, so it might become a bigger act, right? Mm -hmm. Another uh, interesting thing that they're considering is expanding the scope of the state superintendent's ability to intervene in a school system. We've seen that in our area in mm -hmm. a couple of school districts. Mm -hmm. And the, the, the way the bill is written, they want to allow, um, they want to allow a broader um, uh, in for the superintendent that, it, it, that maybe if they're just trouble in one school, that okay. it doesn't necessarily have to be the whole system. So, you know, it's sort of a, uh, a little less autonomy than we're all used to. Mm -hmm. They'll consider that. Um, there's a cyberbullying bill that's being considered, um, which we don't have any cyberbullying laws that are stri you know, strictly about cyberbullying. Mm -hmm. So that's, you know, those are all still to come. At last count, there were 82 bills related to education on the wow. table. Some of those are duplicates. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes you'll have a bill introduced in the Senate and the House that will be the exact same bill. Mm -hmm. um, but but there are, there's a lot going on in education. Um, and so, you know, I would say stay tuned, mm -hmm. um, check out the Alabama School Connection. And, you know, it, it's a lot of people are kind of intimidated by bills. Sometimes they're confusing to read, but oftentimes you can totally understand what it is they're trying to do with this bill. And I really encourage folks to reach out to their legislators if they have an opinion. There is no dumb question and there is no dumb opinion. You need to be you know, we all have opinions about what we want for our communities, right. particularly with our schools. Right. And, you know, one of the things, too, if we can talk about things, but if we don't do something and help change it, right, it'll never change. That's really. exactly right. And if we don't use our voice, someone will do our talking for us. Right. Right. So is it anything else that we need to keep it keep well, aware of? You know, there are some things going on outside of the legislature, just in the regular school calendar, mm -hmm. okay? The, the next round of standardized testing mm -hmm. will be coming up from, it will be the full month of April. Mm -hmm. um, there's a big window. It's not a month's worth of testing. But school districts will be able to uh, administer the ACT Aspire test. We've had a segment on that. Right. Um, that will come up again in the month of April. Um, I have my, my old cheat sheet here. There's also an opportunity for input that I, that I would love to see more people have something to say about, and that is the state is considering a new plan for counselors. What counselors should be doing mm -hmm. um, and what kinds of programs could be implemented to help counselors counsel. In the past, you know, few years, we've kind of let counselors evolve into test proctors, right? right? Or maybe they help with discipline. Right. And I hear a lot of people say, we need to let counselors go back to the role of counselors. And that plan is on the table, and it's out there for public input. Wow. So we another chance to use our voice. Wow. 
Mm -hmm. Right. Trisha, I'm so glad you stopped by to kind of tell us what was going on. You mm -hmm. know, I know you're coming back mm -hmm. because you've got a lot of things to cover in your segment, Get Connected. Mm -hmm. So we want you to stay tuned mm -hmm. uh, because I know there's a lot of questions about the charter school. Absolutely. The bill has come through. Right. But, you know, I, I don't think it's going to be as easy as, oh, there's a charter school there now. Oh, right, you know, right. and parents are just so confused and don't know mm -hmm. what does this mean, where do we go, how do we start or what does it mean for us exactly. you know so I know you're going to be bringing all that wealth of information to us Absolutely. so we want you to stay tuned and Trish thank you for stopping by today it's great to see you thanks for having me